Welcome, this is Let's Play Fable Part 7, I believe. And we just went fishing and we caught a bunch of stuff. And now we're going to go find the last couple of fishing spots. Where are they? There's one right here. And here we go, we got the last one. I think this is the last one. I'm not sure though, don't quote. Golden Fish. This is a trophy. And it's uh... So if you want all the trophies, you're gonna have to do this. Not that it's hard, but... Yeah, so we got our second trophy. That's a hell of a catch. You can't beat fish, my lad. Good for your health. There's plenty more fishing spots around here, if the mood takes you. And there we go. That's the only fishing related trophy you get, unfortunately, but... That's the last spot. Okay, good, we're done here. Let's, you're never going to come back in here the rest of the game. And there we go. Now I need to go back with that fishing line into the guild woods when I remember, if I remember, and go catch whatever's in that uh, one fishing spot in there. Now there's two entrances to uh, Orchard Farm. The, the close one right there, as you can see, you can't go in there because the bandits blocked it off for, I think that they quote something. I'll go find out. But, so you gotta go all the way fucking around to the other entrance. Which is annoying as hell, but... Because apparently that's their back entrance, like their back way inside. I don't know why they would put their back entrance closer to town than their main entrance. That's just a stupid thing to do, but... That's how they did it, so, you know, there's <laughs> nothing you can do about it. And there's a whole bunch of wasps here, get the experience, get the experience. And if you're asking why I don't use magic, it's because I don't care for the lightning spell that much. It's not really all that useful. That's a bad one. There's one more enemy up there. I'll screw the enemy. I'll go show you the orchard farm thing. Frick. <laughs> oh, look at that. That was a bit of failure on my part. As you can see, we entered the quest area, so that's why it's saved. Not that we can do the quest from this side, because there's a big gate blocking us. Whoa, everything just popped in. You need to go to the other farm entrance, see if it tells you right there, but if you come up closer, you know. I got a little picture telling you fuck off, so let's go fuck off. And go around, all the way around, to the other entrance. Ooh. I don't know why they make you do that because you just have you're gonna have to do it later in the game anyway. So it's not like you're not going through here anymore. Like Great Woods, like the connector between the two areas of the main world. Well, Darkwood is, but Great Woods leads to Darkwood. So this side of the map, Great Woods, the biggest place there is. And once you get through Darkwood, um, and then you're on the other side of the map. And the only way to get back to the other, to back to this side is go back through Darkwood or teleport. And generally, I only go through Darkwood like a few times in the game because it takes way too freaking long. And there's not much in there anyway. I mean, there's a couple places in there of interest that you can come back to, or there's a reason to. These wasps are just sitting here letting me kill them. And here's the way to Great Wood Lake. Now we can get another silver key here. You see a little path like going up to the side that with a dead end? That's where we want to go to get our silver key.
Then you just run all the way up here. And the silver key is sitting right here with the fencing. The bridge is out. I don't know where it led, but it doesn't matter because you can never go up in there in, game, in the game anyway. So. This is usually the first chest that I open right here for silver keys. And here's a couple bandits. And he's dead. Anyway, so this one takes five, so we only have three right now, so we can't open it yet. Shut up, Guildmaster. What was I doing? Oh yeah. And what was back here? There's something back here. Yes, that's right. There's a health potion back here. Oh, I gotta go all the way fucking around. Are you kidding me? Yay. All the way around for one health potion. Any traders here? Oh, there's a floating beetle. Still bad. Yeah, it's a fucking beetle. Didn't we kill these as a kid with our fists? Well, oh, no, we didn't, but. Uh, at some point in the game. Like, you know when you do that whole uh, stand still and like, and that kid wants you to break the barrels? If you break the barrels, you find beetles in them. And you can just punch them a couple times and they're dead, so. And here's the main entrance to Orchard Farm. So we had to do a slight detour for literally no reason. You come back here a couple times in the game. Um, this is where you find the... Once you get... There's six treasure clues in the game. Once you find all six of the treasure clues, um, you just gotta go to the spot where the slight thing is and get it. If you dig it up before you get the treasure clues, I think you still get the item, but it does zero damage. So, it adds a weapon. Not that it matters though, the weapon isn't even all that strong anyway. It's just something kind of cool. I've arranged some more security to back you up, but there are so many bandits that they'll tear my farm apart. I wish we'd never found those damn stones. They brought us nothing but trouble. My wife Jenna won't let them anywhere near the house, so we've left them in some crates in the barn. They must be worth a fortune. They say Lady Grey wants them. I've already lost three farmhands in these raids. That must be them now. I better go inside and look after my wife. She's terrified. That sound, I never heard that before in my entire fucking life. Usually he just turns back and says, they're here, and I'm like, I'm like, how the hell do you know that? But, <laughs> I guess that's why. There was some weird sound there. Okay, so we have to make sure no boxes are stolen, and no guards die. And here come the bandits. For the most part, they try to ignore you a little bit, and just run straight for the crates. Ow. Yeah, I'll let you guys kill him. Come on, man, kill him. What are you waiting for? As you can see, that blueberry pie, they want me to eat it so I gain some extra health, but I don't want to because it's the only freaking blueberry pie in the damn game. Get some skill experience, because that's I rarely do that in the game, so... A couple places I can use but... Oh, when they're standing here stunned, press B and kill them instantly. Unless you got um, a heavy weapon, in which case all you'll do is kick them, and it won't kill them instantly. This guy dropped a goodie bag, so he got, gave us an apple pie. And it's kind of hard to see right now because it's freaking dark, but... More bandits. Oh, he's done. Oh, that hurt, man. Let's go. Woo! As you can see, that's why Flora breaks the game because they're comp and it does more damage too. So. Oops, I thought I had Flora still. There. And that's it, we're done. We finished both boats, because none of the guards so, died and never got you've they never even touched moves, the crate. Oh you? wait, that's right, we gotta fight Whisper first. Well, you're not the only one. 
I hope you've learned how to flourish, because that's the only way you're going to get close to me. Go on, try to hit me with a flourish. It's not that hard. People would have figured it out before now, I'm pretty sure, so when the sword starts glowing. And so does the icon. Now they want you to fight her. So you just do this. Yeah, like, look at this. This is retarded. You call this a fight? Like, listen to her. Listen to her voice. <laughs> what the fuck is that? No, listen to it. It's disturbing. And you hear it 18 times in a row. Damn, you beat me again. I suppose this quest is yours then. What? This is to the death, you bitch. Come on. Lucky forever, farm boy. We're bound to meet again, and I'll be ready. You notice that no one ever mentions your name or knows your name because you don't have one. Everyone just calls you the boy or farm boy or chicken chaser or whatever else. I can't tell you how on. grateful we are. Someone should be round to pick up the boxes soon, so we shouldn't have any more problems. Can't see why there's been so much fuss about those stones. Be glad to see the back of them myself. Must be worth plenty of money to someone, though. I'll make sure to tell everyone about you. We need heroes like you around. Yay! That's like the best reward ever. I get a pat on the back and a clap for killing a bunch of damage and saving your stones or whatever that you don't want. There we go. We get Whisper's Brooch. Brooch. I don't know how to say that. But we've also completed both of them, so we got extra monies. Money, money, money! Money! Check the guild for more quests. We get quite a bit of experience. Now there's a couple stuff around here. Um, that treasure, that final ultimate weapon, guess where it is? You, it's right here. In between this stuff right here. I don't, I read all the clues and I don't know how they freaking lead to that area, but apparently they do because that's where it is. And you come back here, there's a jet. There's a couple more stuff in here, but we're gonna come back here later anyway, so we're gonna take the Great Wood entrance out of here so we can get the hell out of here faster. Well, what am I doing? I can teleport. In case you're wondering why I haven't upgraded my weapon yet, it's because I'm waiting to get that legendary boat, or boat, le weapon, I'm gonna get it in like the next like two quests anyway, so. And it's way stronger than any weapon that you can buy right now, so anyway. There's no point in wasting your money on it, right? And I already got my chickens, so I don't need to worry about that, so let's go level up. Or, not level up, but spend experience. Can I get my good stuff? Oh, Ghost Sword's one of my favorite, but I only... Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> Slow time is pretty good. Summon is a really good spell. And then there's freaking... Multi-Strike would be the only one I really use in this one. Or maybe... But... I don't know which one I want to do here. Assassin's Rush is great, but so is Ghost Sword, right? Tough one, it's a tough one. Some pretty good spells in this game. I think I'm gonna go summon. Notice your experience pools going down. You will always use your will experience for. Anyways, I think that's enough for now. So I will see you next time on Let's Play Fable. Bye.